Alrighty guys, what's going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Back for a little midweek sneak peek, uh, more of a chapter two actually. I'm doing the WTF Cornhole Tangos. My buddy Bill sent these to me. They are very broken in, very used. So that's just, you know, the ones that I reviewed, it's probably like my third video and it wasn't great, but I didn't like them because they weren't really that broken in. These are super broken in and I, I like them quite a bit better. Um, I do have the review for the Cornhole Solutions Pro Solution Boards. That's coming up on Sunday. This video will be posted Wednesday. And uh, totally forgot to mention in there, but if you guys want to support me, I did set up a Patreon. So it's just patreon.com backslash Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Anything you can give helps and uh, it helps me get bags. And then I will also be doing giveaways for those bags. So basically anything that I purchase, I will be giving away. Might purchase two sets if it's like super, super cool. But it just helps offset the cost a little bit because most of these bags I either get sent to me from the manufacturer or I purchase them myself. So uh, anything really helps. Um, but yeah, the Tangos, I wasn't completely fair in my review initially because I just didn't like them. But I'd only like washed them, conditioned them, thrown them a little bit. And they were just super, super bouncy. So now we're playing on a non-bouncy board, obviously, because the Pro Solution board's not bouncy at all. You guys will notice the camera change. Um, we shot the review from up here because this is all my level part of the driveway, you know. Down there, it's not super level, and I just didn't want that showing in the video, so we shot this way. So I might start shooting this way from now on. I kind of like it. Um, I'm not going to go through my five points with these. You guys basically know the price, all that. These were just thrown to get broken in, so they've been thrown a ton. Uh, the feel of them, they're great. They really feel really nice and floppy, and actually threw them okay in the board review video. So I'm not trying to make a crazy long review on this, but I wanted to give them another shot because Bill sent them to me because he knows how I felt about tangos initially and maybe he thought it was a little unfair which is also fair because it's it wasn't fair um I'm not going to stand on this side I want to stand on this side this is where I always throw from why am I trying to switch it up so we're going to start on the slow side it's five perfect that's how you know I like it back I mean they'd I do what you want. I guess I'll try to flop over that. Almost got it. Let's try to flop over that again. Didn't work. They play nice, even though there's zero bounce on these boards. I still feel like this is a bouncy bag. It's just how I feel about them. They don't necessarily hit and slide. They kind of kick a little bit. Um, not like that. They just kind of bounce. They don't necessarily slide. I know wind right in my face. You see, that one kind of lifted a little bit and then went straight. And it might be partially my throw. You know, I'm not throwing incredibly flat right now. I'm going to go slick side and try to drag this. Yeah. Another bag, I probably could have pulled it off. The wind is blowing directly into me right now. I know sometimes you guys can't hear it when I was doing the Cornell Solutions Pro Solution boards. My neighbor was actually mowing. You could hardly hear it. So I'm going to go fast side here. Just lofty. And I missed. It just slides up. It falls in. Fast side is nice if you like something this fast. Very friendly. And they are super broken in. They're super floppy. Uh-oh. Okay. But they're still a full bag. So if you like a full feeling bag, really, you might like them. And like I said, I was not initially fair on my review, and I understand that. I get that now. It's just mine were not broken in, but I did not, did not like them enough to really give them the chance to break in. So that's kind of why I had it that way. Oh no, it's going all slick. Ooh, sweet car. You guys will see this. Sweet car, I like that a lot. So I almost tried that bag again. I just kind of missed it on the right side. We could do another down and back on them. I don't hate them, um, but I'm not gonna own another set. You know, I'm kind of trying to get away from a lot of carpet that I have. I have so much carpet right now, and I don't throw carpet. It's like very, very rare that I throw carpet. So let's try to flop over this. Yeah, 
See, it worked. That was incredibly ugly, but it worked. Do it again. Almost. See if I can just push through both of them. Yeah. If it was dead on, it wouldn't have been an issue. So they are good for flopping. I can tell you that much. So I'm not really a flop shot kind of guy. I did hit a perfect flop shot in the board review, which was awesome. It's really fun to do. Ah, the wind. Just trying to lay a block and try to flop over it. Trying to lay a block again. It just, I wanted to climb. This carpet's nice though. Feels really soft on the hands. There it is. Oh, damn. Do another down and back. It's the shot I wanted, just more right. This carpet does play really nice though. I mean, it's it's going to be a fast board condition carpet though. That's just me personally. If it was too sticky, I think they'd just be bouncing all over the place. But they feel nice. They throw nice. They really do. I and I do apologize to WTF because. I was 100% not fair on my initial review for them. You know, I pride myself on being honest and let's try to flop over that. I was honest because that's how I felt at the time, but I was honest. Um, <laughs> so I can flop them. I was honest in a way of like misinformation kind of, or not exactly correct information. Um, I was going by what I had but what I had was not how they actually play, which is why I really like to break it back in fully before I review it and I notice that. My first couple of reviews, you know, some of those weren't bro fully broken in. A lot of them were, but I gotta be fair. So that's why I'm doing a, uh, a chapter two on them. There's the block. Let's go for the flop. Nope. Totally freaking missed it. Just got too excited. Almost. Let's do it again. I'm gonna leave it there and go get the bag if I don't hit it. Got it. Sweet. So, you know what? If I can flop a bag, they can't be all that bad. You know, it's they're not gonna be a go-to. I know that. But if I was in a tournament that had quicker boards and someone said, Hey, let's play these bags, I might actually be okay with it. So that's really it, guys. Uh, support the Patreon. If you guys like this one, give it that thumbs up. Subscribe. Share it with your buddies. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.